need to make a cross lap joint or a dado joint in a four by four, we'll stick around and I'll show you how to get it done easily using these three basic tools that any woodworker should have. Hi, Nick from Old Fashioned Nights, and today I'm going to show you how to do a cross lap or a dado joint in a four by four. Now, one of my other videos, I did an outdoor television stand where I made the base using cross lap joints and I used the top supports made out of dado joints. And I figured I'd go into a little more detail on how I did it. So this video is going to be relatively short compared to my other videos. I know. And let's get to it. The first joint I'm going to do is a cross lap joint. So what I've gone ahead and done is taken the two pieces that I'm going to use for my cross lap joint and clamped them together so that the ends line up as well as the faces. And with those lined up, I took an extra piece of 4x4, four four, placed it on the two pieces, and made lines to where I need to cut. So with those lines, I'm going to use my first tool, which is my circular saw. So for my circular saw, I set the depth at 1 and 3 quarters inches. And since I'm doing half the stock for my cross lap joints, I took uh, a 4x4, four four, which is actually 3 and a half. Half of that is 1 and 3 quarters. So with the depth set, as well as the pieces clamped together, I can go ahead and start cutting. Now the first thing I'm going to do is with my lines on the wood, I'm going to cut directly on the line here on this side. But when I get to the second line I drew, I'm going to cut just on the inside of that. The reason for this is that once I have all my pieces cut, I can go ahead and do a test fit using that scrap piece of wood I have. And then if I need to uh, make some adjustments or sneak up on it, I can just move my uh, speed square back. And that just helps to make sure that I don't cut too much and it's exactly the length I need. So let's get to cutting. With both ends cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut the insides. Now instead of just cutting it completely off, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just cut little strips into the wood, space them out about an eighth of an inch or so, and then just do a bunch until I get to the end. I'm also going to leave my speed square where it is, which is going to act as a stop as well, so it won't let me go past the point I need. So let's go ahead and cut those insides. Now with the insides cut, I'm going to use my second tool, which is the flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to break these out. All right, so I got everything cut out that I needed. It's the width that I need for my cross lab joints. 
So now it's time to clean this crap up. So one tool you could use is a chisel and work on clearing it out. But for me, I suck at my chisels. I don't know if it's because they're a cheap set or if I don't have the patience for it. I'm, I'm just not good at it. So instead of getting frustrated using chisels, I've gone ahead and used my router, which is your third tool. And what I'm gonna do is I have a flush trim bit set to a height of one and three quarter inches, and I'm gonna run the top of the router along my pieces to clear out all this stuff and basically just keep working my way until it's all out of there. So let's go ahead and clear that out. I'm done with my cross lab joint. Now I'm going to do my dado joint. So what I'm going to do is basically the same steps at the start with a little bit of difference on the end with the routing. So I'm going to go ahead and make my lines for my piece and get those on the board. So I got both my lines down. Now it's time to cut my ends. Uh, for this cut, since I'm cutting for a two and an eighth board, uh, the thickness or the depth that I'm going to cut is an inch and a half. So because of that, I'm going to use my cordless circular saw. And with this cordless, the guide is actually on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is on this side here, I'm going to cut on the line. And on this side, I'm going to cut just on the inside of it, leaving my combination square there as a stop. So let's go ahead and get those lines cut. With my ends cut, now it's time to start with the strips. But because of my router, you can see that since this is a eight inch long piece, that on the insides here, if I start cutting out, I'm not gonna have enough room to put the base of my router on. So this one, I'm going to do strips in small strips. So I'm gonna cut small strips at about an inch long. And when I'm done with those, I'm gonna knock them out with my screwdriver and then I'm gonna run my router along that and then basically repeat the steps until I get to the end. And that's my video for doing cross laps or dado joints using these three simple tools. If you enjoy this content, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.